Kyle Ferrara for Hashtag Griff Sports. I'm here with Griff's goalie, Keegan Asmundson. And Keegan, you and Tony Capobianco have been spending a lot of time in net to start the year. How do you two get along on the ice and off the ice? I mean, we have a great relationship on and off the ice, like you said. Uh, being a goalie, it's nice to have someone to talk to. And Capo, we usually room the <laughs> room on the, the hotels together. So we yeah, watch the same shows and talk about the same stuff. And um, on the ice has been great, too. You know, he showed me the ropes in his last year here. And he's kind of on the way out the door. So I'm kind of taking over him for next year. And um, couldn't ask for a better senior leadership out of him. You two put up pretty similar numbers. Obviously, he started more games. You have a slightly higher save percentage. Do you consider yourselves to be on the same level talent-wise? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a friendly competition, so you know I want to be better than he am, and he wants to be better than myself. But whenever we're in, we're not rooting against each other. Um, we've been kind of unfortunate with uh, playing the first night, not playing good as the second night as a team. So, whatever goal he's been in, it kind of differed for that. So we don't really worry about the stats. I mean, our goal is to get a win for the team, and if, if I'm in or if Tony's in on whatever day, that's all we can really worry about and go from there. So. Do you think the rest of the team notices any difference with each of you behind that? I mean, physically, I'm a little bit bigger uh, height-wise, so um, my pads are blue, his are white. Besides that, I think uh, the team battle is pretty good. Whoever is in net, even when um, Adam Harris was in in Vermont, um, you know, it couldn't really doesn't really matter which goalie's in. Uh, just the pads and the height difference, I suppose. So, at some point, coach had to explain to you guys, you know, this is how they're going to handle the position this year. What did he tell you? Uh, I mean, nothing really much different as last year. They said I was going to get a shot. Um, it's Capo as a senior. He's a starter. So going in, that was, I knew that was happening. I was the number two. Um, but I didn't want a lot to let, limit my work ethic and practice. So I'm just doing the best I can to make sure I'm ready for the weekend. And that should lead to the team winning, and that's the main goal. So, Did Coach give you any indication who's going to start tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, Capo will be in tomorrow, and he's going to get us two points. Okay. And what is this? Game mean to the team, obviously. It's been a year since you beat them for the AHJ Championship. It's, it's definitely a, a big game. They probably have a little bit of salt or dirt in their mouth. Um, we were fortunate to beat them earlier in the year this year, so we're trying to do the same thing. And then it's kind of a, a one-game series twice, so we play Thursday and Saturday, and our goal is to get two points on Thursday, sort it out, and then do the same thing on Saturday. Thanks, Keegan. Thank you.